everybody welcome back to Kingdom Ties this is Ashley and yeah we're starting a new segment and so I will still be releasing prophetic words that are here from the Lord but yeah today we're starting a new segment and it's called the Kingdom Stepper Manual and the reason why I call it the Kingdom Stepper Manual is because like I'm about to start countering culture Okay, like, I feel like a lot of us Christians, we're getting a little too comfortable in accepting the world's way and meaning like accepting society's way of thinking, accepting like the things on social media that we should not be accepting, especially the music, the music, the music. Okay, especially the music, the ways that we dress, all that type of stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Like, women should not be exposing themselves. You feel what I'm saying? We need to be dressing classy. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, that's what we're doing. So, today, if you clicked on this thumbnail, you've seen the title, and it says, You think you the goat, huh? So, yeah. So, this is for all my big steppers out there. You think you a goat. I don't want to be that. The reason why I named and, and is doing this video is because, like, why are you calling yourself a goat when you should be a sheep? And the reason why I say you should be a sheep is because if you call yourself a follower of Christ, you need to be a sheep. Okay, so in definition of the world's goat, that is, you got you, you created your own lane, your own vibe. You feel what I'm saying? Then you do what you want to do. You feel what I'm saying? Like you ain't still what nobody else is doing. You say you say that you're the greatest out of everybody. You feel what I'm saying? And basically that you can do it on your own. Yeah. So that's the world's and the culture's definition of a goat. And so the reason why I say we should be a sheep is because Jesus called us his sheep. If you're a follower of Christ, you feel what I'm saying? So if you're a sheep, that means that you know God's voice. You obey God's voice. You follow the shepherd and you need help. Okay. So the reason why Jesus call us sheep is because of those reasons. Right. And so like sheep are obedient. They know their, their shepherd's voice. They always need help. Okay. They can't do it on their own. And so like, if you are a sheep, you're going to obey Jesus. You're going to obey the Holy spirit. You're going to, you're going to do the will of the father for your life. But if you call yourself a goat, you call yourself a goat, man, you're best basically telling God you don't, you are rebelling. You don't want to do what he say. You want to do what you want to do. You want to create your own land, your own style, all this type of stuff. That's what you're saying when you call yourself a goat. You're basically telling God you're not going to obey. You're in rebellion. Because like I said, for a goat, they do what they want to do. And then on top of that, they basically say they can do it on their own from the culture standpoint. If you follow God, then you can't do it on your own. You need God's strength. Yeah. You're not that strong. We all need help. And especially if Satan is coming knocking at your door, bro. You're going to need some help. You can't fight Satan on your own. You can't fight these demons on your own. You can't fight temptation on your own. Shoot, you can't even make a promise to yourself that you're going to make it safely to the store. So, yeah, you need some help. We all do. So I got three chapters that I would love for you guys to look up. That's John 10, John 14, and John 15. In John 10, Jesus is saying what, what he is. And he says that he's the good shepherd. And he lists and defines what a shepherd does and what the sheep do. And so Jesus called himself the good shepherd. And I believe that. And so Jesus says that the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. So that means that the shepherd is passionate and loves his sheep dearly if he's willing to lay it down. And so he says what a sheep is. And a sheep knows their voice, knows the shepherd's voice. The sheep always obeys and follows. Okay, and then also in John 10, it talks about that the sheep, they don't follow. They don't follow at all a stranger's voice. So, like, if the shepherd is telling them to come, the sheep, is, the sheep are going to come. But if somebody else tells them the sheep to come, they're not going to go. And if you look up on YouTube, 
I seen it myself. I looked it up like one night when I was up. <laughs> I looked it up one night and that was that's a fact. Like they did a test. Three people called sheep. They didn't move, they didn't lift up their head or anything. But when the shepherd called them, everybody picked up their head, looked around, found him, and they came to him. So yeah, sheep are really obedient and they know their shepherd's voice. Which is really cool, by the way. Like, sheep, like, they are that obedient. Like, I haven't seen no animal that obedient in forever. And I love nature channels, so yeah. And in John 14, Jesus is saying that he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. And so, meaning Jesus is the only way to get to heaven. I don't care what your teacher say. I don't care what your mama say, your daddy say. I don't care what your pastor say. I don't care what Oprah says. Hey, look. There's only one way to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. That's it. Period. And the reason why he said he's the way is because he said that he through him, you can only reach the Father. Okay? And the reason why he said he's the truth is because the truth that Jesus taught in the word of God, it literally will set you free if you believe it. And so if you haven't see, seen any change in your life or anything, if you haven't seen any type of deliverance, then you really need to ask yourself, are you believing God? And so Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. And the reason why he says he's the life is because he came to give life to all of us and so that we can have it abundantly. And so like in the scriptures, it also says that um, we were dead men walking in sin. But when we received Jesus, we became alive. And the reason why we became alive was because of Jesus' life. When we became alive in Jesus, then we became conscious of our conscious, con you know what I'm talking about. We became conscious of our sin, okay? So, yeah, so Jesus is saying he is the way, the only way for you to reach the Father. And for you to even ask God anything, any type of prayer, you have to go through Jesus. That's why we say in Jesus' name that Jesus is the way. He is the truth. The truth shall set you free. Every word that Jesus spoke, it will set you free. And he is the life. Because through his life, we became alive and conscious of our sin and conscious of God's presence. So, yeah, Jesus is the only way. And so, if you are calling yourself a goat, and that means that you're not doing it Jesus' way. You're doing it your own way. And if you're doing it your own way, meaning living how you want to live and you have your own rules and standards, that means that you are basically walking in rebellion and you're still walking in sin. And that's dangerous, bro, because like, hey, look, don't nobody know when Jesus is coming back and don't nobody know when they're going to die. So, hey, look, you need to be ready on all the cords, okay? So, if you call yourself a goat, bro, you better become sheep. <laughs> you better become a sheep. I'm for real, bro. That is nothing to play with. I'm for real. Because, like, if you live your life down here and separated from God, meaning you doing your own thing like a goat, bro, you're going to live separated from God in the afterlife. That's just it. You can't live how you want to live, you know what I'm saying, doing all this stuff, smoking, drinking, getting high, having sex with all these folk. And think he gonna go to heaven? Um, no, that's cow. You live like like you a hellion down here. You gonna be in hell when you die. That is it. I'm gonna keep it real in the channel. And in John 15, God is saying how he Jesus is saying how he is the true vine. And so if you look at grapevines, it's one thick grapevine. It's one thick vine with plenty of many branches popping off of it, right? And and all those small branches produces fruit. And so if one of the small branches get cut off, then it doesn't produce fruit. It withers and it dies. And so that's what Jesus says in John 15, that if you, because he called himself divine, and he says that we are the branches. And so if you're doing stuff in life, you feel what I'm saying? And you're not connected to him, you're not going to produce no fruit. That's just it. Like you're not producing, you're not producing any type of fruit. You're not, 
you're not progressing or anything and if you are progressing it's because of his grace you feel what i'm saying you have some type of connection with him some type of way but you you feel what i'm saying and if you are really progressing and you're not connected to god then i think you need to stop i think you need to go back to jesus because like like i said before bro like there's only two ways jesus way and satan way okay so if you're really progressing and you're not in jesus that means that you don't did something demonic you're, you're tied with something demonic you don't did some type of exchange and now you're really progressing but with that whenever you give something to satan and you promise to do all this type of stuff he's gonna come and get what he what you promised him and it's not gonna be what you think it is okay so yeah you really 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 want to come back to jesus because like whenever you make a deal with the devil bro he gonna get what you promised him and it's going to cost you more than anything so yeah i had to insert that because like i said before i'm not gonna lie on this channel i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it but yeah so in john 15 jesus said that he's the vine and we're the branches and so if one branch is not producing any fruit his father will cut them cut them off the branch so if you're in christ and you saying you know so you still living how you want to live and all the other type of stuff you're gonna get cut off that's what the scriptures say okay but yeah and so the reason why this is connected to the goat is because you're saying that you can do everything on your own which you can't unless you don't gave your soul up to satan that's the only reason why you're doing it and i highly like i said i highly suggest you do not do that because it's going to cost you more than what you think it is but yeah like if you call yourself a goat saying you doing everything on your own like like bro no you're not you're getting your your you're getting the strength and the power to do it from a source and if you're saying you're a christian then you're doing it from jesus strength and jesus power and so if you're doing that then you know god you know kudos to you you feel me but like i understand like some people may say oh ashley you're taking this too deep and no you keep no we just saying we the goat because you know what i'm saying just a slang term first of all whatever's in your heart that's what you're gonna say out your mouth so if you call yourself a goat that you're the goat you're the greatest and all the other type of stuff bro that's how you really feel and that's prideful and god opposes the proud look it up matter of fact i'm gonna insert it right here so if you call yourself a goat bro you're you're basically saying you're being prideful and you'd rather be in rebellion than to do it god's way and to live his way and to depend on him that's what you're saying whatever that's coming out your mouth this was already in your heart period don't lie to yourself yeah stop calling yourself a goat your words are powerful we are created in the image and likeness of god and so if god created the world and everything we see with by his words we are created in his image so that means that whatever we say that's what we're going to see so if you keep calling yourself a goat then that means that you are being in rebellion to jesus christ if you're a christian and if you're not a christian and you're calling yourself a goat meaning you already know you in rebellion you doing what you want to do with all the all the other type of stuff and so i would say to you give your life to jesus christ because you cannot do it on your own none of us can okay it's safe over here come over here you'll like it i think you would I'm for real, it's real peaceful over here i'm for real it's real peaceful you feel what i'm saying we have somebody to protect us to fight for us you feel what i'm saying we ain't gotta fight by ourselves. you feel me i'm for real and we got a father you feel what i'm saying he do take good care of us you feel what i'm saying so i highly suggest you come over here you'll like it i don't know how to wink <laughs> i don't know how to wink okay all right but i'm done i'm gonna get off your timeline but yeah like i said before 
if you're sitting here calling yourself a goat, stop it. Okay? Because you basically tell a girl you're in rebellion and you don't care. You're, you're going to do what you want to do and you can do it all on your own. And that's the thing, though. Like, God is a gentleman. Like, he really is. Some people say that God is like, like he forces stuff on people. No, God is a gentleman. He just gives us choices and it's life or death. It was just like, God gives us choices. And so he's going to respect our choices. And so if you choose to do what you want to do and to be a goat and to do everything on your own and you got your own vibe, your own land, you ain't even hearing nothing else with nobody saying, then yeah, he's going to allow you to do that. And so God doesn't send people to heal. Our actions do. So, yeah, think about that. So, yeah, I would suggest you be a sheep. Obey. Obey Jesus Christ. It, it pays. It really pays off. Because when you die and you get accepted to him pearly gates, I would love for you to come find me if I die before you. So, yeah, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. But, yeah, so there's that. So, yeah, there will be more Kingdom Step Emanuels. Um, yeah. But once again, don't call yourself no goat. Okay. Love you guys. And I will see you guys next time.